behind closed doors, the Freemasons were free to indulge in the secret rites and rituals handed down to them by their ancestors. And these became the basis of their levels of membership, called degrees. Degree, degree. Politicians funded by the Masons promoted the Masonic ideology. The secret lodges of the Masons were open to members of the French army. High-ranking officers and generals were indoctrinated to the Freemasons' way of thinking. With the people, the politicians and the military of France under Masonic control, the Masons could finally strike. Freemasonry has worked in a hidden but constant manner to prepare the revolution. We are then in complete agreement that Freemasonry was the only author of the revolution and the applause which I receive from the left and to which I am little accustomed proves, gentlemen, that you acknowledge with me that it was Masonry which made the French Revolution. When the so-called founding fathers of America landed on Plymouth Rock, not only did they bring with them disfranchised people, they also brought the Freemasonic elements of Europe. The injustices which the fathers of America were escaping from in Europe was also to be found in the new land, in the form of a tyrannical British regime. In order to gain complete dominance of the new state, the Masons used the same methods to gain control of France. Although the British monarchy was run by the Masons, the American War of Independence was a necessary action and the people involved in the war were expendable for the Masons to fulfill their dream. Emotions of the people were manipulated into anger and just like France, anger turned into war. This time, however, previous mistakes would not be repeated. The near defeat the Masons faced against Napoleon and his army in Europe taught the Masons a lesson. Any forthcoming leaders of the resistance must follow the Masonic agenda. The best way to do this was to ensure the leader himself was a Mason, and the leader who took the war to the British was none other than George Washington. On the 4th of July, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was made. On the 17th of October, 1781, the British were finally defeated and surrendered the colonies to the Americans, and the world's first Masonic state was born, a nation that would represent Masonry in every way. A sign of the Masonic presence in America is plainly visible on the dollar bill, which carries a picture of George Washington, the first Freemasonic president in the world, and a picture of the Freemasonic symbol of the so-called all-seeing one eye.
Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life, that there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. It is all around us, even now in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window, or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neil. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell. If you look at the root word, because Arabic has root words, and the root words have primal meanings which indicate where the semantic field is deriving its meaning from. The word Dajjala was a word that the Arabs used when a camel had mange, when it was diseased, they would put pitch over it as a treatment. They would put pitch, and they used that word, yudadjiru. They would put this pitch over the, the camel so you didn't see the disease of the camel. Outwardly, the camel would look good because it's been pitched over. You, 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 you got that idea? It's, this is the dajjal is, is he pitches over the sickness and the disease and makes diseases look good. So the idea of, of the, the Dajjal is that the Dajjal will come and tell people in the same way that Isa said and told them that the next world is what you should work for, the Dajjal would tell them this world is what you should work for. In the same way that Isa said and told them that dunya is, is gharoor, it's a delusion and it will delude you, the, the Dajjal will tell them the next world is a delusion. You see, like the beer commercial, you only live once, so get all the gusto you can. Right? That's a Budweiser. You only live once. You only go around once, so get all the gusto you can. This is the message of this age. It's a message of deep materialism. It is a message telling people they will be happy in, through buying things. Buy more and be happy. This is, this is a slogan. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Right? The smiley face. And on the back of the dollar bill, there's a seal on this side. It's called the Great Seal of the United States. That's what it's called. It's their seal. Now, behind the seal, this is actually what is behind the Great Seal of the United States, is a pyramid with one eye. Now, the one eye is the sun god, Ray. If you really get the word Ray, sun rays. It is the sun god, same Mithraic character. And he shows up again and again. This is the Masonic god of the, the Ray. If you look, you'll see the pyramid is built except for the top. It's built except for the top. The eye is suspended above the top. It hasn't come down yet. Because they believe until they finished the Masonic project, which is the, the what they say on the bottom, Novus Ordo Seclorum, and then Annuata Chapters, he is pleased with our project. In other words, the God they believe in is pleased with our project. What is the project? This is the question. What is the project that this God is pleased with? The project is literally the secularization of the world. To completely strip the world from religious beliefs. This is the project. And that is why it is called Novus Ordo Seclorum. A new secular or worldly order. If you translate that into Arabic, it would be a nivam al alami al dunyawi, not al jadid. It would be a dunyawi.